Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our lesson number 53, day 53. The very first word that we want to learn today is. I don't know how I could have possibly misspelled such a simple word in my notes. I'm just going by what I think it should be misspelled. The word is caustic. C A U S T I C. So, the way I spelled it in my notes is I know it's completely off. So, you have to have, you have, to have real talent to mock up something simple like this. C A U S T I C. I better fix it right now before I. The word is caustic. As I said, you have to have talent for it to screw up such a simple spelling. Caustic. It's an adjective. What does it mean? It actually has two meanings. It has a literal meaning. And it has a metaphorical meaning. Some words do that. Some words have two meanings. They have uh, they mean one thing li in, a, in a literal sense of the word, and then they mean something else uh, metaphorically speaking. That is in a metaphorical sense of the word. Literally, it means something caustic. Simply means something that is burning, like acid. Something that is corroding, something that burns like acid is called caustic and therefore you can make a caustic comment. To make a caustic comment means that uh, you make such a sharp biting comments that the person that is that is directed towards they find it uh, almost burning like, uh, uh, like you pour acid on their body. It's so sharp, it's so discomforting. It's a sharp a sharp biting sarcastic comment. You must have heard of somebody uh, saying uh, uh, talking about a caustic comment. Uh, it's a it's a Corrosive comment. It's a cutting comment. It could also be a sharp and bitter wit. You might say something very witty. It may be something is witty, but it is at the same time very caustic, very sarcastic. It uh, it burns the other person. It, uh, the other person does not uh, is not pleased at the hearing what you just said. Such a comment is called a caustic comment. Let's move to the next word then. The next word was the next word is rather. Should I erase it or should I keep it? I think I need to erase it because I need the room. I don't want to make it too crowded. So again, the word was caustic. Literally, it means to burn like acid, something that is corroding. Metaphorically, it means means it's a sharp biting sarcastic comment, a corrosive comment, a cutting comment, a sharp and a bitter wit. You may be being witty but you're also at the same time being very nasty, very mean because as I said it hurts the other person. Let's learn the next word. And the word is all the words today have to do with being nasty. The word is vitriol. Wit, re, all. What does vitriol mean? Well, literally, it means 
In chemistry, vitriol means sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is vitriol. That's what it is. It's, that's what it's called. And if something that burns like sulfuric acid is called vitriolic. Vit Re All Like Vitriolic Let's put this pronunciation guys here in case you need it I don't know if you can actually see it or not Vitriolic Which means Which means something that is caustic A caustic comment a caustic comment is vitriolic. It's something that burns like sulfuric acid. Something that is bitterly bitterly scathing. It really hurts somebody per other person's feeling. And the word was vitriolic. Let's go on to the next word. The next word is, well, where should I put it? I don't like to put it on the bottom here, as I said earlier before. So we are done with this word. Let's, more, let's go on to the next word. The word is, the word was vitriol. Something vitriolic is something that is caustic, something that burns like acid, something that really hurts other person's feeling. It's very sarcastic. It is very bitter. It is. Uh, it really cuts to the. Oh, there's a word that I'm thinking of. It just doesn't want to come to me. There's an expression in English language which means cut to the something, and that something actually is the skin under your under your nail and your finger. The skin right under that, it, that. That's the word I'm looking for. And the expression is cut to something. Because if you if you're cutting your nails and if you cut too much, that skin underneath the nail is very sensitive. That sen sensitive skin, it has a name. For those of you, somebody who's listening to this thing and uh, know what I'm talking about, I would like very much if you can post it on the comments. That skin underneath the nail is, uh, has a name and the expression is cut to the whatever that skin is. And it, it does, it's an expression. If it cuts to that, that thing, that means it's very bitter, it's very sarcastic, it is very hurtful. Something vitriolic, something caustic can be very hurtful. The next word that we want to learn is, I'm still thinking what it is, cut to the something. If I remember it, uh, if it comes to me, I'll, I'll tell you in the next videos in the future. The expression is, cut to the something, and that's something as I told you, is a screen a skin on the right under your nail at the edge. Uh, it's a very sensitive skin. And that expression means something that is very hurtful. The next word we want to learn is animosity. And a mass E D animosity, which just means an extreme hatred. The bitter enemies would have animosity between them. Bitter hostility. And finally, open. Enmity. Enmity is a noun. Enmity comes from the word. Enmity comes from the word. Enemy. The feelings that you feel towards your enemy, towards your foe. The, the, uh, the feelings that you feel towards your bitter enemy, that feeling is called enmity. The noun of enmity. The, the feeling for enemy is called enmity.
and that's what it is. Animosity is an open enmity that you feel, open hatred, open um, bitter hostility that you will feel towards your, towards your enemy. And the word is animosity. And finally, the last word that we want to learn today is acrimony. Acrimony. What is an acrimony? Well, acrimony is uh, everything that we see here. Everything that you see here. That's an acrimony. Except it has a nuance of uh, being expressed uh, in, in, in a speech or manners. An acrimony is a display of hatred. It's a display of hat hatred. or hostility or animosity especially in speech or manner especially in speech or manner just give me one second I want to look up this one word here oh right here in day number 39 this word that I just wrote here, I abbreviated it. It is ESP period, which is spatially. And for those of you who do not know this particular word, I am being probably too ridiculous right now, but if you do not know the difference between spatially with it starting with an E and the one that starts with an S, well, there should be S in there, ES. Obviously, there is S right here. I don't know how to spell ESP. ESP. You didn't hear me say that, okay? If you want to know this word, if you want to learn this word properly, just type in 39 Keshwani Prev Vocab 39 and you will learn the difference between this word and the word without the E in the front. And those are two different words. Especially means particularly. So, it's a display of hostility, particularly one that is expressed in a speech or manners, acrimony. They are all basically the same word, but they do have certain nuances in them. And that's what I'm getting at here. So again, the words we will learn today was caustic, vitriolic, animosity, and acrimony. Four wonderful words to know if you're talking about people, that a person that you really hate. That was the end of uh, the lesson for today, day number 53. I will see you tomorrow on day four, day 54, okay? In the meantime, if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring through internet via Skype or in person for GRE, GMAT, SAT, TOEFL or Algebra, Calculus, Statistics, whatever you need help with, just go to my website address here, kishwaniprep.com and send me an email. Or you can go to any of these website addresses. It will take you to the same place. Okay? Thank you.